Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Trisant Tosca Advanced Training. So this is our lesson 10 in terms of Trisant Tosca Advanced Training or it's a lesson 25 in terms of overall Trisant Tosca Training. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you about the action mode constraint. So how can we use action mode constraint? Why do we need to use this action mode constraint and when to use this action mode constraint? So I'm going to explain you in this particular session. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, first, so what are what is the agenda items? Okay, so by end of this lesson, you'll be able to use the action mode constraint by using latest Tricentis Tosca 16 version. And we are also going to identify a different scenarios where to use the action mode constraint. See, you know, I mean, if you know how to use constraint, but you have to know in which scenarios you have to use this action mode constraint, right? So I'm going to give you some examples and then we are going to automate one of the example by using Tricentis Tosca 16. Okay. So constraint is a type of action mode that allows you to identify one specific item in the list of similar items. Okay. So the item you are looking for needs to be uniquely identifiable, right? So to make it uniquely identifiable within the similar items, we are going to use an action mode called constraint. Okay. So now let's jump onto the system and see how, when and why we need to use the action mode constraint by using Tricent Tosca. So this is my uh, Tricentis Tosca latest version 16. Okay. So before we start working on this Tricentis Tosca 16, let us first understand the scenario that you would like to automate by using constraint. Okay. So, so this is my demo web shop that we are generally using throughout the sessions, right? So this is my demo web shop. So I am in shopping cart. So if you observe the shopping cart here, I have three different products. One music two. It's a, I mean, it's a basically downloadable digital file. Okay. With the price 10 and another one music two with the price three and uh, one book with the price 10. Now let's assume. So by mistake, I have added one additional um, digital, basically one additional digital downloadable into the shopping cart. I want to remove the second music two with dollar three. So how can I remove that? Or I want to remove uh, music two with dollar ten, for example. Okay, I want to remove music two with dollar ten. If you see in the cart. I have the albums with the same title music to here. Correct? So that means I cannot directly specify go and remove music to. Let's say if I want to specify price 10, for example, I want to remove a product with price 10, but there is another product which has a price 10. Either I cannot use music to or I cannot use 10. Because music 2 has two similar names. If I specify price 10, it has two products with same price. So I want to remove this music 2 of price 10. So this is where we can start using constraint to identify a unique product within the shopping cart, a specific product within the shopping cart, even though there are duplicate constraints or duplicate items in the cart, right? So now 
what we are going to do i'm going to log in to the by using credentials and then i'm going to add multiple products right and i want to remove one of the music product which has a duplicate entries with different prices i want to remove one of the music product and then once i remove this product i want to let's say if i remove this product right remove this now my price subtotal is 13 i want to make sure that the product whatever i selected got removed once that product is removed your product subtotal will be 13 correct so that means the product got removed successfully okay and then continue with our checkout process and then complete your order right that's what we are going to do okay so how can we achieve that so let's say now let's go back to our present is task so here let's uh, click on exercises under exercises you will find constraint folder okay this is the test case that we are going to automate okay i already automated some part of the test case basically we are logging in and then we are ordering the products what products i am ordering one jeans product and then i am also ordering some music album products that is music 2 and music Two with ten dollars music two with three dollars right just now we saw in the cart i'm just adding into the cart and then now our turn is to remove the wrong item which is music two with ten dollar right i have to remove that okay so here let's focus on that particular folder what folder remove wrong item from the cart right here first i am doing i am actually clicking on shopping cart and now i need to remove a music product with dollar 10 how can i do that okay so for that let me add a module shopping cart module control t okay shopping cart module I'm adding a shopping cart module and here let's rename this as rename this as remove wrong music so remove music from shopping cart remove music from shopping cart okay and now let's see how can we remove the music even though there are two duplicate music items right so how can we do that okay so here first shopping cart products let's select this table this is a table right so i want to specify this as select okay once i select that particular table see here this is your entire table this is your html table this entire cart okay this is your html table so i'm selecting the table once i select the table now i want to go i want to look for the product column column called product this is my product column right this is one column now i want to select the product column so now rename this row okay let me just quickly sorry so now select row also here okay under row select the action mode as select and now here now under cell i need to select a product column correct so now let's select the product here row and select product and here the product i want to select constraint what constraint i'm gonna instruct tasca to look for a product with title music 2 okay let's specify that music 2 this is my product okay that is one constraint and now again again here 
under row again. Now this time rename this as sorry. So now uh, again for product here we selected product. Now I want to provide a constraint of price also. Prices should be 10. Your title of the product should be music 2 and price should be 10. Then only you select it. Not 3. Earlier I already removed another product music 2 with 10 also. Right. So now here rename this cell this time with price and select constraint again. This is my constraint. And I'm going to specify the price as hashtag 10.00 hashtag. So basically I'm using regular expression. So basically the price should contain 10.00. So now what I'm instructing, go to this table, look for a product with music 2. But that's not sufficient because music 2 product has two different prices, 3 and 10. And I'm also telling Tosca, look for price 10 with title music 2, right? And now, and now you need to again, now this time I have to select remove. If I find this constraint, you have to select remove, check the checkbox remove, right? Now your cell value should be remove, remove. And then once you select remove the corresponding checkbox, see under this column remove, you have a checkbox. So now the checkbox should be true. See, and now this should be true. I mean, this should be your input here. Remove should be select, not verify. Select remove column under remove column. Check the checkbox remove. Right? So done. Once I check the checkbox, what I need to do? I find the title of music 2 and I find the price 10. Select it and click on update shopping cart. So here I need to update the shopping cart button. I need to click on this. So that's why I'm specifying as X and your action mode should be input. Right? And now, once I remove the product, now I need to verify the subtotal so that I can make sure that the product is removed and my subtotal should be the, the sum of only two products instead of three products. So here, for that, let's insert one more shopping cart, one more time. Let's insert shopping cart module one more time and this time let's rename this as verify price rename this as verify price okay i renamed this as verify price now here you need to go to price table now Okay, because this is your price table. This entire thing is price table. This is one column. This is your second column, right? So here, first, you need to go to this column. Okay, rename this as hash2 because the price is at the second column, the price. So that's why I made it as hash2. And now, select your cell as Subtotal, I am verifying subtotal, correct? Subtotal and your subtotal should be $28. Once I remove that particular duplicate product, okay? And select your data type as numeric. And select your action mode as verify. I am verifying the subtotal after removing one of the music product with $10, my subtotal should be 20 okay sorry 28 so let me just remove this okay update this card okay let's close this okay i think that is it okay so now let's save this and now let us run let us run this okay
So here, let us run this test case, this entire test case. Okay. Right click and run. So as soon as you run, it should open your web shop and then it should add three different products and it should remove one product. See, it's clicked on login. It's entered username. Now it's going to add blue jeans first of 25 quantity with 25 quantity. So which is $25. Now it's going to add one music with $10 and it is going to add another music with $3. It is totally, see, $38, right? I added total $38 of the worth, but I'm going to remove $10 of music. See here, it's going to see the constraint now. See, it removed $10 of music too. And then it's, it's checked your subtotal is 28. And then it is checking out. So that means even though the shopping cart has some duplicate items with the same properties or with same attributes, by using constraint, we are able to identify the item uniquely, right? I specified a constraint of both the constraints. One is the constraint of price, sorry, the music title, title of the product and the constraint of your price, right? So you see everything is passed. See here, it used the constraint and the Corresponding music has been deleted. Okay. So your entire test case is passed. Correct. Hope you all understand what kind of scenarios, in which scenarios you need to use the constraint action mode. So where if there are similar controls or there are, if there are similar list of objects, most of the times this constraint is being used in the web tables most of the times okay so if there are similar list of objects then if you want to identify one of the object specific object then you can specify the constraint so that it can identify the corresponding object uniquely okay so if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.